The good. The bad. And the boys, he held some. Dateline, the untamed wilds of the West, where men are still men and sheep are still careful. It was on these barren badlands that a tough breed of heroes fought the last great battle in living memory. A battle our children's children will talk about and then laugh. A battle that became known as the War of the Wallies. So let's meet the great Wallies. Here's Wendy. Hi there, big boy. I bet this bulldoze was just great at driving. She joined the army to get away from the backbiting world of fashion design. And meet Nigel. A few people who aren't great players who um, uh, have been coming along, but I think they're concerned. He joined the army because he liked the nice uniform. And here's Ron Billabong. He joined the army because no one else would have him. It just feel bad. They might as well take this kid now, put him under the bloody blade as well. That's our people here. This is our country. Together, these brave men and women waged war against just one common enemy. An Italian on a bulldozer. But like all great campaigns, the war needed careful planning and split-second timing. The Trigdune Heritage Group is having a tactic meet, tactics meeting tomorrow night, and we do have a few things in the pipeline. How many are we sending out? 24 dive bombers, sir. But I have to try it without fighter protection. What about the Hornet? Scraping the bottom of the barrel. 16 dive bombers left, plus the three that Matt Garth is bringing over from the Yorktown. Signal Hornet. We attack immediately. Aye, yes, sir. Your case of beer for that. Well, it's certainly a protest of a genteel nature. Visitors are being offered brochures, booklets on the ecology, nature walks, cups of tea, and even a picnic on Sunday. Special equipment was flown in, including the very latest in barricade supports, cleverly designed to look like a load of old cereal packets. And soldiers had a top secret communication system. So secret, in fact, it could only be used inside a balloon. Men on the front line protected strategic areas with anything they could find. And then it happened. The balloon burst. <coughs> After the war, things were very different. Some soldiers lost friends. Some lost their lives. <laughs> and some, thankfully, lost their voice. It was a long, bitter struggle that no one will forget, especially those with war wounds and those with little children. We asked the survivors for their comments. Bloody bullshit. Bloody Sterling Shire has never worried one minute about us. Mr. Colbung is an ignoramus and a complete tosspot. So there you have it. 
And all this caused by just one man. Guy Bevilacqua, Channel 9 News. Chances this way, Ken. 